I'm Philip Pullman, and uh, this afternoon we've been looking at a couple of um, topics that I find interesting in the business of writing. One is the question of what stories are made of, and the other is the question of the writer's responsibility to society in general, political responsibility, moral responsibility, responsibility to the audience, and uh, so on. That's what we've been thinking about. First half of the afternoon was a lecture in which I explained um, some ideas that have occurred to me about narrative, what it's made of. There's fundamental particles, little tiny bits of events that can be, um, that are put together to make stories. And the second half of the afternoon was a, a sort of discussion group. We were thinking about the idea of responsibility, what the writer's responsibility is, whether there is such a thing as responsibility in the work of a writer and where it might be directed towards and how a writer might feel it and discharge it and so on. Um, the only thing I told them, the only bit of advice, if that's what it has, that I gave them was just at the very end when I quoted the lines of Samuel Johnson who said that the only aim of writing is to enable the reader better to enjoy life or better to endure it. Give them pleasure or give them courage. My name is Terry Hackman and I am studying creative and critical writing. I'm doing a doctorate and my specialty is short stories. Sure. My name is Dan Papia and I am doing a PhD which I've started and stopped a couple of times. Uh, other things sometimes get in the way. I also teach uh, screenwriting. I come from a screenwriting background. Here at Bangor, uh, some of our wonderful professors are helping me to tackle the, um, the form of the novel. I'm Penny Davis and I'm studying English literature with creative writing and I'm in my third year at Bangor University. Well, we had a very interesting lecture which uh, Philip Pullman gave about the minutiae of writing, the small things that pull things together and he illustrated it beautifully with, with our artistic pictures which I really brought the point across I thought. And then we moved on to a discussion about responsibilities which I think most writers do have a feeling for, that you do have a responsibility in what you write. And there was a wide range of opinions around the room, which was good. Yeah, very good. Very interesting. It seems to be studying some of the things that I'm studying for my uh, thesis, which was the um, fundamental particles of story. And um, these are the smallest parts, the neutral parts of a story. And that's basically what I'm doing with my thesis. So um, was, oh, that part was really helpful and got me thinking about things I had never thought about before. So. Uh, I think it helped everybody here. Um, he talked about things that many students don't normally think about and um, uh, one of the topics that he had everybody uh, consider is responsibility and what the writer's responsibility is and it's sort of wonderful for students to sort of get outside of uh, uh, the normal demands of just sitting down and writing and think about something from a different point of view. I think a lot of students got a lot out of uh, getting feedback and advice from Phil Pullman um, he, uh, he is very easy to talk to, very approachable, and at the same time he knows a lot about writing and knows a lot about uh, what, goes in, what goes on inside the writer. I think his advice was indirect, but yes, we did get feedback. It would be extremely helpful. It will help me to focus more, I think, on finding the right words and looking more for detail, looking more for detail, pull more detail in, pull things together. It was a wonderful event. Um, we're very proud at uh, Bangor to have such an intelligent and articulate uh, honorary member of staff as Phil Pullman. Very, very good. <laughs> very encouraging as well. And he's very human, you know, very down to earth. And it was easy to absorb, I think. Yes. Oh, it was absolutely exciting and uh, I'll never forget it. <laughs>